Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Shotaro and welcome to Shorty Home Cooking. And welcome back, my friend. Ah, hmm. Okay, so today I've got a fish, the Red Sea Bream, or in Japanese, Madai. And I believe this is one of the most loved fish by the Japanese. Like, we cook it in so many different ways grill, deep fry, of course, sashimi, sushi. And today I would like to make Thai mesh. Like in English, sea bream rice. It sounds kind of stupid. And I'm going to cook that rice with this, what we call donabe. So this is a pot made of clay. So anyway, no more chit chats. I'm so hungry right now. Well, let's get started. Hi, Shiro. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing, before filleting a fish, I'm going to prep the rice. So what I do is wash it gently with cold water. Strain. And use your hand, your fingers, move it around to clean the surface of the rice. But don't do it too rapidly, otherwise you're gonna break up the rice. And repeat this process like three times, four times. Well, if you can afford, it's better to use spring water to even wash the rice. Okay, and then from now, I'm going to soak the rice in cold water for about like 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, so let's fill it. This sea bream. So actually, I already removed the scales and also the guts and washed it. So first off, I'm going to get rid of the head. So get your knife behind those two fins. It's like the natural guideline where to put your knife in and cut off the spine. <laughs> Flip it over. Oops, no, like, like this. And the other side. The sea brim head. Mikiro. And today I'm going to use this head to make the dashi stock. It's a bit too big, so I'm going to cut this head in half. You should be really careful when you do this. It's so sharp. So get a knife in between those teeth and go through it. Ah! Ah! Let's separate it. Use the heel of the knife. Let's separate the color as well. Then, like so. I'm going to take care of this later. And then, let's do the sanmai wash. As always. So first of all, make an incision on the belly. Mm. And the second one. Should go in deeper. Until you get to the backbone. And then, the back side. Next thing, so put your knife through your tail and uh, I think I did good. So there you go, just one fillet off. Let's do the other side, man. Flip it over, the back side. So here we have the second fillet. And today, to make the dashi stock, I'm going to use the bone as well. Alright, so next, let's get rid of the belly bones. And also, I'm going to use this for stock. The other fillet. Now the filleting is done. So let's move on to the next step. So I'm going to blanch the bones and the head like this. Like so. And drop it in. Okay. 
似てるなあなたとねショーティーこっちは俺に似てるわ<笑>はい。Let's put another one too. Two sea b r i n g balls. I'm going to get a little bit of 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 t t e b i t of a little bit 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 of a l i t t Bye bye seaweed. And then bring it to boil. Okay, so now you see there are some like white forms on the surface. And this is going to create unclear dashi if you don't get rid of this. And let's turn the gas down a bit and occasionally get rid of those forms. And let's simmer it for about 15 minutes. I actually cook it for like 20 minutes. So, what I'm gonna do next is to turn the gas off. Get a colander, a big bowl, and also a kitchen paper. And I'm going to strain the dashi stock. Da -da -da -da. Here we have this dashi stock. Okay, so finally, let's cook the rice. Finally. こんなに心が綺麗だったらな、ショーティーは。私の心は超綺麗だよ。マジで声優のように綺麗だよ。So, strain it. Okay. Put this rice into the clay pot. Da -da -da. Next is dashi stock. So, today I'm gonna use like about 160 milliliters. Also, you want. So, some sake. I don't know, like. Two teaspoon and the soy sauce. Today I'm going to use the usukuchi, the light soy sauce. A few more drops. Okay, half and a teaspoon. Just a little bit salt. Yatta ne. Okay, and then you want to get a fillet of sea bream. And because it is too big, obviously, it's not gonna fit in. Oh、right? my god. So I'm going to cut this into half. Let's give it a cross incision. Onto the tray here. I'm going to use a torch. That's about it. Sea bream into the pot. Right here. And let's cook it. The highest heat, because you want to bring it to boil as soon as possible. After it boils, turn the gas down to the lowest heat. Maybe cook it for like seven to eight minutes. I'm actually feeling kind of nervous right now because I can't see the inside of the pot. I don't know what's going on here. So it's almost boiling. If you see if there's a hole, there's gonna be a steam coming out of it. Almost there, almost there. Okay, turn the gas down. And I'm going to push the lid down. And I just forgot to set the timer. Okay, so I believe it's about seven minutes. So turn the gas off here. Don't open the lid yet because you want to steam it. Okay, so let's wait for about 10 minutes. m i t s u b a Just roughly chop it. Yeah, this is for the garnish. So about 10 minutes has passed. Time to open the lid. 
That's it. I can do this. I can do this. Open. Looks okay, I guess. Take out the fillet. So I'm going to get rid of the pimples. I think it's okay. And put it back to the pot. Oops. Take a shamoji. Give it a stir. <laughs> Nicely mixed. And then some Mitsuba leaves. Mm -hmm. Shorty home cooking. Shishok. So here is the Thai mesh sea bream rice. Oh, this smells so good. Yes. Deva deva. Jadakimas. Nan mo shaben ne jan. Moishi. Maji de mai. Moji tabete. It's full of umami flavors. Yeah, this is absolutely spectacular. I just want to say spectacular. Okay. Oh. This is so good. Oh, this That rice was awesome, really awesome. If you can get a good quality of rice and a sea bream, yeah, you should give it a try. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. And if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel, Shori Home Cooking. And also give me a like. Channel Torok, <laughs> Okay, well then, I will see you in my next video. Matane! Matane! Bye bye!